Roger here with Resource Investing News, and I'm here with Brent Nicolation, who is the Senior Vice President, Corporate Development for Energizer Resources. Thanks very much for coming and joining me. Thank you, Mike. So, uh, Energizer Resources, you've got a number of milestones coming up on the horizon for 2014, including your feasibility study for the MOLO project in Madagascar. Mm -hmm. um, how are things tracking with your feasibility study? We're tracking very well. We are currently on pace to finish our feasibility by Q4 to the market. And right now we're probably announcing very shortly we've finished our drilling for measured status and we should have something uh, out to the marketplace in quarter four of this year. Um, feasibility studies are a huge amount of work. Um, can you sort of give me an idea of the scope of, of what's entailed in that? Well, yeah, I mean, for us, the, uh, the amount of time that we put into this uh, from discovery right to the end of the feasibility will be about three years, which is incredibly fast. So we did yeah. a preliminary economic assessment back in January of last year, and that allowed us to spearhead and accelerate through to the full feasibility. So for us, it was really more drilling required just to put it up to measured status, okay. but all the environmental stuff was all done prior to that. So we've been able to move very fast. Excellent. That sounds really good. So the MOLO project is 100% flake graphite. Um, what is about flake graphite that is so appealing? Mm -hmm. Well, there's lots of confusion out there. A lot of people hear different types of graphite. Flake unequivocally is the form of graphite that most, if not all, people are after. And that's the okay. reason because flake is the only form of graphite that goes into all applications, especially lithium, lithium, lithium ion batteries, as well as the foils for consumer electronics. More importantly, the lion's share of where graphite goes today, and that's refractories. So if you do not have flake, you cannot go to any of those burgeoning markets, and all the new markets going forward for clean tech and energy storage all require flake. Okay, that sounds reasonable. So how much of your deposit is composed of the larger flake size, and why is the larger flake, fl mm -hmm. flake size important? Yep, 100% uh, of the MOLO is flake, and we have a, we're have we blessed with a very high proportion, so about 45% of our deposit is classified as the large and jumbo flake, so that's plus 80 mesh and plus 50 mesh, mm -hmm. and that's not been optimized yet. We hope to even improve upon that further, and one of the great things about us is that 78 or almost 80% of our deposit is deemed to be medium, large, and jumbo, which qualifies for the right size for lithium ion batteries. Okay, and so the flake size is? Medium is the minimum size for batteries. So okay. you have to have medium, large, or jumbo. So usually the larger the flake, the more desirable it is. So all of the top industries look for medium, large, and jumbo, particularly more favorable towards the large and jumbo. So Energizer has a very strong percentage of large and jumbo, uh, well above the average, as well as the right size for batteries, so about 80%. And does that impact the price that you'll be able to charge? Yeah, to the client? most premium pricing, it's all a factor of your purity and your flake size. The higher the flake size, the higher the purity, the higher the price. Right. Great. So offtakes, agree, offtake agreements are important uh, to success in the graphite industry. Does any Energizer have any off? take agreements in the well, works? Right now we are uh, engaged, for, uh, well, just, we've been working on this for almost two years now, but we have probably no less than 20 um, uh, samples been sent out from our pilot plant. Our okay. pilot plant generated one of the largest bulk samples yet to date. Uh, it was 13 tons of product sent out to over 20 customers and that's being evaluated. So we have CAs, confidentiality agreements, non-disclosure agreements with about 20 companies and all those results are coming in and so far they're all positive. Excellent. But we hope to have some news uh, on those and as we developed uh, probably by the end of Christmas. Okay, good, good stuff. So how does Energizer stand to benefit from the current uh, graphite industry cleanup that's happening in China? And what about the, the Tesla Gigafactory news? How does that impact you? Well, a couple of questions or a couple of statements there. So first of all, for China, uh, China has always been the, the elephant in the room when it comes to graphite. They mm -hmm. export the majority of the world's graphite, about 80%. They are running out of flake graphite. So the large and the jumbo is becoming more difficult and it's also less in quality versus what they're used to putting out. So China will be forecast to be a net importer of large and jumbo flake. So if you okay. have large and jumbo flake, then that's what China is looking at. And right now they are mandated to go outside and find sources outside of China for that. And that's really a new development in the last decade. In terms of the Tesla story, I mean, that's going to invigorate all kinds of things. And especially if that ends up happening, then it's forecasted that Tesla will have to cons have to um, source from six brand new mines in order to meet the capacity of that gigafactory. Wow. And right now, graphite is the largest input for that battery. So when it comes to graphite, lithium, and cobalt, it's about 10 times more graphite that's needed out of all those inputs that they need. So it's a considerable amount of raw material. 
Wow. Okay, that sounds very significant. So finally, uh, what's your number one rule for investing in, in graphite companies? Uh, well, I always tell investors I talk to is do your homework. And one of the things that's really confusing for investors out there with graphite is it's been a changing message. So first mm -hmm. it was based on what's your flake size, what's important, uh, what's the purity levels. So lots of misconception out there. So when it comes to flake size, a lot of people say, well, it's not flake, maybe you need vein. Uh, that's not the case. If you talk to anybody who sources graphite, the global buyers in the world, 100% of them are looking for flake, number one. Number two is you have to really ask the key questions. Getting to 99.9% .9 is extremely easy. Any company can do it. The question okay. is, what does it cost? Okay. So that's the definitive. And how you can find that out is really is what is the purity levels with standard flotation. So companies always, and not all of them, but many of them do, put out uh, we can get to a certain purity with standard processing. Energizer can get to 98% with standard processing. And that's and just flotation? Just flotation alone. Okay. So with flotation alone, we can get to 98%. So by going to 99.9, .9, we expect that to be cheaper than someone who has to go from, say, 90% to 99.9. .9. So ask those questions because there's lots of misinformation out there and uh, it's been a changing message. And it, is there a lot of different metallurgy or processing that happens going from that 90 or 98 percent up to the 99.9? It can be. I mean, one of the things that uh, people don't realize is that the, the, the way you process graphite is extremely easy, but each graphite deposit has its own DNA. So it okay. all depends on what the extra volatiles are in there. So Energizer, for example, has done very, very, um, uh, very high-end assay tests. It's called GDMS, which is almost a nuclear-grade test. So we've also hmm. analyzed all the volatiles on a parts per million basis, and our graphite has been deemed to be clean. So okay. it's acceptable for the battery market, etc. So any company that wants to go and achieve that, those industries have to do those tests. So you want to make sure you process the graphite, but then even if you can get to 98%, what is the other 2%? And depending on your grade, metallurgy is king in graphite. Grade okay. is not king. So okay. it's all about the quality of your flake. And Energizer has a very high quality flake. That's been validated now by third parties and by the, also the global buyers who are testing our graphite have come back and validated that. Excellent. Well, that's very good information for our investors. Thank you very You're much. You're very welcome. Thank you, Mike. All right. So this is Mike Roger, Resource Investing News. I'm here with Brent Nicolation, who's the Senior Vice President, Corporate Development for Energizer Resources. Thanks very much. Thank you.